Welcome back. In the previous part, we faced off against an Entoma Queen who counterattacked so many times and it was quite annoying. But in a fun way though. Still a fun way. I enjoyed that. Anyway, so, right, let's carry on and see the scene after this fight now. Ka 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 ka! Uh, uh, Sheena, oh no, it's happening again. Uh, don't worry, we're right here. I've got your hand in mine. Ah, yeah, grunt. Sheena? Every time we defeat one of the Interma Queens, Sheena regains a piece of her lost memories, but not without a lot of pain. What we can do is comfort her or hold her hand. It pays me to watch, but this is Sheena's fight. Sheena... Lost her memories? Ah! Still can't do screams. Huh? What? No, that can't be. Why would they do this? You won't get away with this. I have to do something. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Misu Nashi. Misu Nashi? Sheena, is something the matter? Is that going to be Alice? I don't know. Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go home. Okay. Who is that then? <laughs> oh. She ran off! After her! She's probably going to leak information! It's Fang again, but this time he's a bunny. He's an Ashi. If it's here, I think I can. I don't think that's a wise decision. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say it, but everyone knows what you're planning. What? <laughs> I won't let you get away with this. <laughs> Is that so? So what? What are you planning on doing about it? <laughs> Capture her! It's very strange that the Kiki Kiki is there as well. Yes, sir! No! Don't touch me! Oh, this little shit bit me! She ran for it again! Damn her! I'm sorry, sir. We'll capture her at once! Oh, forget about it. Uh, wh why? I don't need you to make the same mistake twice. Well, I, I suppose that's an effective way of making that not happen. Yeah. Sheena Ninomiya, this doesn't look too good for you. Resistance isn't something we take too kindly here. Do you want me to hurt you? Even if we strip the flesh from your bones, it will have no bearing on what happens inside of the game. Hmm. Why? Why would you do such a horrible thing? <laughs> oh, whoops. Can't run away if your legs have been shot, now can you? <laughs> I've changed my mind. Looks like you're up now. Oh, a what? Sheena, are you alright? Can you stand? Thanks, I'm fine. Did you gain any more of your memories? Yes. I realized something. Pant Pant, I was trying to escape. But I... I got caught there. Alright, then a lot of panting. My... my foot. Sheena, it, it's fine. You're safe here. You don't have to think about it anymore. But... it's fine. Don't overdo it. Yeah, Sheena, why don't you rest for a bit? 
Okay, sorry. Sorry, everyone. I I'm fine now. Same for you, Lucille. I know you've been through so much, too. I'm alright, but... I will never forget the horrid witch. Huh? Who? What? Huh? Why Rip Ripuka? That girl from earlier. Oh, yes, right. Huh? Lily, aren't you mad at her, too? Well, it's not like that. That's very strange. Sheena, did you hear what Ripuka said earlier? She called herself one of the Ludens, right? She did. Who are the Ludens? They don't sound like any race or class that I remember in this game. I'm going to check to see if we archive them in the glossary. Continue on with your journey. Will do. Thank you. Lucille, what do you want to do? I don't imagine that you'd want to return to your village, do you? No, I want to take care of Meaton. I couldn't live with the thought of leaving her like she is. Sheena, you still have access to the terminal, so I'm going to return. I thought she destroyed it or whatever. Ripuka said that she already destroyed the terminal, though. Damn it. Your... Mita was so right about you. You possess great kindness and strength. Oh, It'll be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure she's looking down at us from heaven. Miten. Why? She didn't do anything wrong. Why? I, I can't emphasize the why. I've never felt so angry at being so powerless. Oh dear, triple dot. Indeed. Right, first things first is I, I, would, I would like to have a save somewhere game. Like, pretty please, I would like to save. After all that, it would be nice if I could save. Is there a way back? I'm not sure that might be the way to go. I don't exactly know where I am. This is the thing. It's like, where exactly have I been placed? Is this where I was? I don't want to know a battle. Not right now. No, 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 no. We'll escape this battle. I am not... Not in the position to battle after what we just had in the previous part. So it's like... Run for it, yes. Okay, there we go. So if I went back down there, there's going to be an event, which I don't want the event, but the... Is a campsite. So there wasn't a... Ah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Too busy looking at campsites. Attack. I'm not paying attention to what's this going on. Like it's so it's escape the battle. Alright, so I just want to be sure where we go and stuff. So it's not like, oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to save, please, game. It would be very nice if I could save. Elf's heart. That's what I needed for the quest. Yay! I think I need that for the quest. I, I'm not sure anymore, to be honest. Uh, oh. oh, go away! I won't lose. I was busy shooting Here the portal that for some reason doesn't work, even though it's clearly activated. Right, so let's get away from you. Let's go. Let's go view that event and then, and then we'll get to the save. And I can have a breather for a second, go get a cup of tea or something like that. After what happened in the previous part, it would be nice to go do that. What? What? I'm firing off. Why did you put me over here? It's gonna be the real world, isn't it? I'm gonna need to go to the real world. That's what's gonna happen. No, this is the wrong menu. Yeah, just tell me to go to the real world rather than teleport me all over the map. Talk. Natsuo. Alright then. Hmm. So, you think that someone is stealing these search engine results? Hmm. Do you think Echo's servers might be corrupted or something? Like, maybe their search engines are just malfunctioning? You've met Ripuka of the Ludens in World Odyssey. Or the mysteries in the... I need to cough. We met Ripuka of the Ludens in World's Odyssey. While the mysteries in the real world were beginning to compound, instead of choosing from what was right in front of us, we had to find search results from what wasn't there. Having more heads certainly helped. After breakfast, I got a hold of Murakata to get his opinion. Knowing Tokiwa and Anjo, they immediately brush it off as a conspiracy, but that answer never sat well with me. Conspiracy, huh? Honestly, I'd argue with that idea. What? It's the Illuminati. 
Oh, of course it is. And they're like puppet masters who control the world from the shadows. Yeah. Lupin. Couldn't you have at least added a twist? Sorry, I'm not a writer. I lack vocabulary and taste. However, I'm sure there's some kind of secret society that erases information online. I asked even Eriza, Eriza about it. Um, are you talking about the voice app on your smartphone? Come on, man. Eriza, a voice secretary application software built into every Agile device's operating system. It uses a predictive algorithmic voice analyzer, responding to its users' questions in a natural uh, way to give or recommend search results. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? The only explanation for disappearing search engine results is that Agile must be pulling the strings from the background. Eriza told me that there's some secret group that plans to rule all of mankind. Wait, it told you that? I bet some software engineer at Agile was having a laugh when they programmed this into one of Eriza's voice lines. <laughs> hmm. I bet. Oh, yeah. I remember you asking me before if I have any connections with Agile Erita. Sadly, I failed. I tried asking some of my old contacts if they could connect me with the higher-ups, but no one answered their phones. Yesterday, after telling the operator that I was a former employee, the girl on the other line just scoffed at me. I'm starting to pity him. Well, I'll keep trying, though. I'm not one who takes no for an answer. Anyways, I've got a round of sale calls to make today. Say hi to everyone for me. Ugh, ever since those rabid people broke into my home, I started embracing the idea of there being some secret society out there. When it us onto something, though, I totally forgot about it either. Maybe I can tinker with it somehow. Eriza, do you know anything about a secret society siphoning search results from the web? Hello. Sorry, I didn't get that. Huh. What kind of reaction is that? You didn't get that? Can you understand my question? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Huh. Maybe I'm imagining things. Can you tell me the name of a, se of a secret organization? Sorry, I don't know. Is Agle pulling strings from the back? I don't know. I'm starting to think I'm wasting my time. Is there anyone else I could ask? Suddenly, the image of Ripuka from World's Odyssey came to mind. What are the Ludens? Triple dot. Huh? Ludens. Ripuka. You sure are curious? That noise again. Huh? Your world has already been taken. Where is I-R-I-S? Humans are obsolete. I see who. Transmitting devices location. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe turn the phone off. What the hell? Out of nowhere, Ariza began speaking in code. I immediately shut off my phone in panic. What the fuck? After the incident, I couldn't access Ariza on my phone anymore. How could this happen? Ariza was considered to be mankind's biggest breakthrough in predictive artificial intelligence. The Alice engine was touted as the next stage in our interactions with artificial intelligence, but Ariza came soon after. Back then, I hadn't paid the announcement much of a second thought. Damn it. Everything's so creepy. What the hell is going on? The hell is going on? Alright then, so back to World's Odyssey. See if we can actually proceed anywhere now. Alright, so can I go over there and view that event, or am I meant to go through here? This is the thing, that portal is active. It's very, very misleading. If it was... <laughs> purple like we've had previous where it's like a not non-active portal I would understand but no it's very much active it did it again where am I meant to go then maybe I'm gonna be Lucille it's the only thing I can think of like what 
but you know, just there for now. Maybe it's something I've not done? Like, where am I some, where else am I meant to go here? This is quite strange, like, it's just throwing me back there for no reason. Not giving me any explanation as to why. It would be nice if they told me, why do you keep throwing me over there? See, that would have made more sense. Just a little explanation to tell me I needed to be Lucille. Uh, Lucille, are we there yet? How oh, odd, I'm beginning to think we've already trekked through this path. Oh, I take it all completely back. All back, all back. It's like it's just making me run in circles. Many times now. Don't tell me someone's got us trapped in a barrier of something. Hmm, something's off. I try triangulating our coordinates on the world map, but it's telling me we're far from the village. Huh? Neighbor, what are you talking about? Coordinates? Mizunashi! <gasps> ah, crap. Uh, how should I put this? I'm using um, a form of magic, the spell of a thousand eyes. It helps me map our current path. But still, we can't reach the village for some reason. Clear I might be on to this one. That Rapuka girl might have cursed this forest or something. Can't explain how or why this is happening. I liked it. It's like I was getting annoyed at the game and I was meant to. I like that. That's the thing. It's like if a game annoys me on purpose, perfect. Don't mind at all. Enigma, are you a mage? Yeah. It's a barrier. And all we need to do is find some way to shatter it. Stay on your toes. Okay, it's got to be something to do with it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. So what can we do here? That's the question. So we're going to find some way to shatter this. This is an illusion of some sort going on here. Hmm. We'll try just proceeding down again and see if they say anything. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Lucille's village is too far. Don't tell me. She doesn't know what's going on. It's true. We've been traveling in circles. I've seen the same bunch of flowers over and over. We can't sense any forest spirits around us. Where are we? I'm starving. I'm getting hangry. Arrgh. You don't want to be hangry. Shut up. Ugh. I wasn't trying to be silly. Someone tripped me. Huh? What's this? Hmm, looks like there's a crack in the floor. Uh, why is it glowing? Mr. Enigma, do you think that might be a new kind of bug? Wait, this is... Shit, this bug is messing up the coordinates. Watch out! Ah, that's a dimensional rift. What? Is the world cracking apart? What happened? Whoa! What the hell's going on? I'm being sucked in? Where the hell are we going? What the? Yushina! Lily! Al! Claire? Lucille? You're kidding me, right? Fuck. I lost Sheena. Damn it. Can I follow after her? I need to find where they are in the code. Where the hell have they gone? Damn it! Sheena! Where'd you guys go? Rin, Lydia, and Tokiwa had all left to run some errands. I was the only one inside of Munukata's office. A game-breaking bug just appeared inside of World's Odyssey. As we were making our way through Rizaria, a dimensional rift appeared, splitting the ground in two. We tried following after the girls as they got sucked in by the rift, but it was no use. If it were a normal bug, then I could have checked in the code to see where they ended up, but a girl appeared to thwart our efforts. 
She called herself Rebuka of the Ludens. I had never heard of her before, and she seemed frighteningly self-aware. If she was somehow behind the dimensional rift, then it's beyond a simple case of finding and removing a bug. Ah! I can't keep up! There's no trace of her anywhere in the code! What do I do? If I can't connect with her, could Sheena escape from Odyssey on her own? If a player disappears, a warp bug, huh? No! Oh, wait a minute! I found something! When we were in the development for World's Odyssey over a year ago, we encountered a bug where players would warp to another location randomly. It was linked to a miscalibration of players interacting with the Alice engine. It was a huge headache. It wasn't until I was chatting with the CEO that a solution had presented itself. I might have a copy of our chat log on my laptop, which might include some of the bugs I had mentioned to the CEO in our conversation. I hopped up and ran out of Munakata's office to head for Enigma. I was scatterbrained, encumbered by stress as the thought of losing Sheena grew increasingly more tangible. However, I had to keep my cool. I arrived in front of the office, noticing that there weren't any more press people lurking in the lobby. I came in through a back entrance and booted up my laptop in the vacant office. Then I forwarded the text log containing the CEO's instructions back to my email. Alright, need to get the hell out of here. Oh, I was expecting him to spot something while he was there, something that would have been a clue. As I made my way back to summer life, my mind was flooded with anxieties about World's Odyssey. Puka. Who was she? Although it was just a game, I couldn't fathom a sadistic AI that actually enjoyed killing. Slaughtering innocent NPCs only creates enemies and puts your own character at risk. I feel like only a human could take pleasure from such a senseless act. I, I mean, you might be onto something, but also that's very closed-minded. Could this mean that the Alice engine is evolving? Or is someone evil behind this? Both. Suddenly, everything went black. Someone blindfolded me and gagged my mouth with a towel. Oh, great. What the? Uh! I felt my consciousness slipping. Wait, what's going on? Am I being abducted? I don't like that sound we just had. Ugh. Where am I? When I woke up, I was still blindfolded. As I tried fidgeting my hands, I realized that I was bound by a rope to my chair. Where am I? What the fuck is going on? Probably not a typical day for you, is it? Sniffing chloroform and being locked up in a room, I mean. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say this is like a typical Saturday. You've got your eyes covered and you're tied to a chair. Must be in a nightmare, right? Wrong. This is all very real. My anxiety was through the roof. What was happening? Are you guys the rabbit? You're sharp. I'll give you that. I mean, it's obvious you're the rabbit at this point. Initially, I thought about letting you continue your investigation, but... It seems like your time is nearly up. Nearly? It's not completely then. Now give me Iris. What is Iris? That's the thing. The first time we heard of it was with that AI thingy. What? I'll cut you a deal. In fact, we'll stake your life on it. So where'd you hide it? We ransacked your home, but it didn't turn up. What are you even talking about? Ah! <gasps> Are you aware of what is happening right now? If you do not hand over Iris, I'll kill you here and now. I don't even know what it is. And 
I will also kill Shina Ninomiya. I don't know what it is. And Sumika Tokiwa, Rin Asukaze, Lydia Nolan, and every other goddamn employee of Enigma. Damn it. Data? What data? I have no clue what he's talking about. He's going to kill me. From my limited perspective, the man who was talking was different from the man who punched me. It was impossible to tell while blindfolded. My heart was ready to burst from my chest, and my nose ached as something warm trickled down my philtrum. It must be blood. It's the bit between the nose, just, just above the lip, in case you're wondering. I didn't know blood could flow like this. I might pass out from the loss of blood. I mean, I suppose your doppelganger can take your place. Isn't it scary to have your vision taken from you? It's hard to see a punch coming when you're blindfolded. Could it be now? Or now? <laughs> the waiting only worsens the anticipation. How are you holding up? <sighs> Want us to flatten your nose, friend? I'd rather you not. Wait, I really don't know what you're talking about. We don't have much time. I suppose we can kill every staff member and make the last person talk. Horrible. This is horrible, horrible, horrible. What the hell is Iris? I was under the impression that these goons didn't know that they were hiding out at the Summer Life offices, but it seems like they knew everyone who worked at Enigma, including Sheena. <laughs> you know, Sheena's whereabouts? I haven't granted you the right to speak. Well, then how can I tell you where Iris is? Damn it. Is he not gonna tell me? Sheena, wait a minute. I have to think of it. I remember the first mysterious email that she sent me. I had a compressed file that I couldn't unzip. I wonder if that was the Iris data this person is talking about. Alright, let's make a save. Okay, so I feel like the Tinker Risk is going to be the correct option, so let's go. No, I don't want to die. What day was it? How many weeks, months had passed? I was beginning to lose track of time, but I think I've endured enough. I relented, giving up what I knew about where to find the data. They released me without bothering to verify if the information was correct or not. However, I paid the ultimate price for my freedom. The price that haunted me at every turn. Sometimes I'd catch myself thinking about Sheena, but I felt sick to my stomach. I didn't deserve to have her name in my mouth. Eventually I forgot about everything. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong on the right option there. I don't know. We'll find out in just a second, I guess. Right, I've obviously done I'll Never Tell. I've, I've put these in the right order because that is actually the way forward, so let's take a risk. Okay. Uh, what's Iris? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. Oh, really now? You want to play dumb? Or are you just a masochist? Could be a masochist. Huh? Uh, I really don't know. Data from Iris? Data... Wait... Are you talking about... Oh, have we finally jogged your memory? N no It's... it's nothing. I... I'm not asking you to think. I'm telling you to answer me. Tell me everything. <sighs> Damn it! Okay, okay. I received a mysterious email some time ago. There was a massive folder with a ton of data on it, but I thought it was just spam. Out of curiosity, I decided to try opening it, but in the end, I couldn't find a way to access what was inside. Do you think it was Iris? Where is this data? Didn't you hear me? I thought it was spam. I deleted it almost immediately. I lied impulsively. It was the email sent from World's Odyssey and Management, Management, Management address. The sender turned out to be Sheena. Mysterious file that couldn't be unzipped. 
followed by the sudden revival of World's Odyssey and the appearance of masked criminals. There's no way they're not all connected to whatever was in the email. And Iris. However, it's still on my laptop. Is it really smart for me to disclose any of this to them? What if they call my bluff? There's, there's a chance that Tokiwa, Lydia, Rin, and Munakata could be exposed to danger. For now, I'll just have to endure the torture. Ah, I see. So you deleted it. Then die. <coughs> Was I just stabbed? My rib is throbbing. Would they really kill me? What the hell is happening? He'll finally bleed out soon, won't he? Find a place to dump the body. Crap. Uh, I need to warn everyone. <laughs> Not game over? Is this the shrine? What happened to me? Oh, ow. Damn it. I guess it wasn't a bad dream. Looks like the stab wound is real, and they decided to leave me for dead back at the shrine. Yikes, I think the wound is getting infected. There's some dirt inside of it. Fuck. Maybe the dirt's why I didn't bleed to death? Shit. Oh, it hurts. I feel like I'm gonna faint. How long was I in there for? How long did they torture me? At least the wound's clotted. Maybe it's been a few days. They think I'm dead, then their next target might be. I need to hurry. Harada, what the hell happened to you? I just went for a little trip. Sorry, Tokiwa. You need to run for it. How could you just up and leave for days, then show up looking like this? It's kind of suspect, don't you think? It's really now that- oh. You're gonna tell me everything that happened to you later, but first we need to call an ambulance- Don't! Just hurry! What the hell? Ah! Stop! Too late. Ah! Let me go! Good work, Arata Mizunashi. What? How? Oh. <laughs> you think that someone who would go to the lengths of torturing and dumping you would just let you run off unsupervised? I can read the headlines now. Tortured man escapes captivity and warns friends of their imminent doom. What a brave, harrowing tale. Luckily, he was able to warn his closest friend of the terrible fate that awaited her. <laughs> I salivate at the thought. This is no hero's journey, though, boy. <gasps> Unfortunately, things aren't going to go as you hope. You have no idea what lies in store for you. So, where's the data, hmm? It's stored here, right? <laughs> oh, does that hurt? Can't take any more, can you? Before you go, I want to thank you for bringing me this far. I can stop at any time, you know. If you tell us where to look, then we don't need to prolong your suffering. Save us and yourself the trouble. It's easier, right? <laughs> hmm. You can barely function. I doubt that you can move or talk for much longer. Now, die! Kiwa, you idiot! Run! I'm fine. I promise. I'll protect you, okay? Oh, that's so? So be it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how easily a knife can tear through human flesh. I wonder how your body reacts to pain. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Really don't need to see this in a CG, thanks, game. Please stop. Please. I won't let you go. Oh, she's still alive. Please, the data's there on my PC. Please, no more. Oh Christ! Uh, no matter how much I begged or how much information I gave them, the man continued to stab Tokiwa to death. Tokiwa insisted that she would protect me, but soon her voice grew faint. I was deprived of any further assurances. That didn't stop them. I will never forget that bastard's voice. Fuck, oh, goddammit. God damn it! Christ. <laughs> Farewell. Well, alright then. So yeah, we'll start the next part on the middle option and not die or someone else die. Oh dear. Ta-ta for now.